Okay, my Kayla crew, today is a Dia & Co day. Now, I kind of dropped the ball a little bit with this bag. So with Dia & Co, you can not only write a note to your stylist with requests of things you're looking for, you can also go in and select items to be sent in your bag. So it gives your stylist an idea of exactly what you want, you know? Well, I didn't do either of those this time around. I got an email that my bags had shipped and I'm like, oh, I don't know what they went off of because I didn't go in and do my part, you know? I totally dropped the ball, so my stylist really didn't have much to go for this time or go with this time. So we're gonna see how things look and it's not their fault because I didn't do my part in all of this. So let's jump in and see how they did with what they had, which was nothing from me. So come on, let's go. Okay, I've got the first two pieces on. We're gonna start with the top. The top is by B Collection by Bobo Kirby. It's the Julia Printed Smocked Woven Top in black and pink, and it's $52. The fabric is 100% ring on. It was made in China, and you can machine wash this in cold water. So I love that it's given me a little bit of a waist. I think that's super flattering. So I think the fit from like here up is very flattering. I just don't know about this area here. With this type of top, I feel like it almost looks a little bit maternity. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to watch back and see. Uh, watching back always helps me almost more than looking in the mirror. It really just gives you a different view of what you're wearing. So that always gives me a better look at what things look like. So again, from here up, like from the, where the smocking is, the smocking ends like right here. And it's going to be hard for you to see because of the pattern and the colors. And then it just goes up here. Um, so from this area up, I think it's flattering, but what do you think about it? Let me just stop moving so you can get a better look at it. I'm going to come close so you can see the pattern up close, the really pretty floral print pattern. And then I do really like the neckline. The neckline is elastic. You know what I'm thinking? I wonder if you wanted to wear it off the shoulder too. Ooh, that would be kind of a cute look. Oh, kind of like a multi-use top. So like here, work to date night or evening look. Ooh, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, I like you can get two looks out of it. I just pulled my brush strips down with the top. Um, but I do like that it has more of like that square, whoops, that, oh, and now I'm ruining it, huh? Let me just hide the hanger tag. Um, I hate those things, <laughs> you guys know I don't like them. Um, so it's got more of a square neckline, but like I just showed you, you could pull it off too. Um, and then, oh, I didn't show you. I don't think it's gonna come across. Can you see the smocking? I don't know that it's gonna come across because of the print, um, but it does, this hanger tag, it really, it wants to just stay out. <laughs> it doesn't want to be tucked in. It does have elastic here. Oh, and now we've got some string, some thread. Elastic around the wrist area. So, I don't know. What do you think about it? I'm kind of liking it. And once I found out that I could, I think I like it off the shoulder better. I don't know. So fun, isn't it? So, let me know. Is it too flowy down here? Hmm. I don't know. I'm definitely, I can't wait to watch the footage back to see. All right, let me show you the back of it. All right, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts and let's turn the camera down. Let's talk about these leggings. Okay, so here are the leggings. The leggings are by Molly and Isadora. These are the Alexis fleece lined legging in black. They're in a size zero one X, so I guess it's a dual size and they're $29. The fabric is 92 poly and 8% spandex, machine wash in cold water, and made in China. So they're super, super soft and comfortable. These will keep you nice and warm. So if you live in a colder climate, these are super, super nice. I love the way that they feel. These are something that I wouldn't sleep in because I'm a, I get warm at night. So I actually sleep with the fan on and these would be super warm. Um, but if you likes to sleep in like colder stuff, you can even wear these to bed. Um, but I would just kind of wear these if I'm running out and maybe with a longer tunic length top. $29 isn't a bad price for a pair of fleece lined leggings. So what do you think about them? So just a basic pair of black leggings, but they're fleece lined. So let me show you the back. Kind of hard to see, you know, black, nothing really special, special about them, except that they're fleece lined. So I might keep these. $29 is not a bad price. So let me know what you think, and I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay, I just had one of those moments where I went through the whole sweater. I showed you, I modeled the sweater, I talked about it, I told you what it was, everything like that. Yeah, it wasn't recording, so I was just talking to myself. Well, I guess I was talking to the dogs, but I'm boring then because they're sleeping. So I was just talking to myself. So 
Let's try this again. I hit the record button. I made sure I could see we're recording now. So this turtleneck is by Ryan Wild. It's the Moya striped turtleneck sweater in white and tan. It is $49. It's not a bad price for a sweater. The fabric is 52% rayon, 28% polyester, 20% nylon, made in China. And you can hand wash, you can. <laughs> you have to hand wash this in cold water. I said this when I thought I was talking to you guys, but you guys know me. I throw this in the washing machine on a delicate cycle in cold water in one of my mesh laundry bags and it would be just fine. Um, I don't know if this sweater is the most flattering on me. I wanted to show you the sweater with the leggings because it's a little bit longer. It's hard to tell because the bottom layer is black, but it comes to about here. Um, actually, can you see that? I don't know if you can or not, but I do like the color combination of this sweater. Maybe if it had a V neck, it might be better. I know turtlenecks are not the most flattering neckline on me. We've talked about this before. I just, sometimes we need one, right? You know, even though they're not the most flattering, but we've had some cold days here. And this year, I purchased a couple turtlenecks. I don't typically care for turtlenecks because I don't like things too close to my neck. This year, I found a couple that I could stand. I picked them up, even though they weren't the most flattering, but you know, sometimes we gotta keep warm. So we gotta do what we gotta do, right? This one, I don't love, and I don't need any more total turtlenecks because I don't reach for them a ton. And so I'm not going to keep this one. Another thing is the stripes aren't lining up on this one. However, one of our Kayla crew members mentioned in the comments on one of my videos that I was showing a striped sweater that if the stripes line up, from sleeve to the body of the top. Sometimes it can make somebody look whiter. So maybe that's why they don't match up all the time. I don't know. <laughs> so I do, I mean, that does bother me though. See, look at the gray and the black. They're not lining up. See, even though it might make me look whiter, it's, not, it's driving me crazy that they're not. But anyway, I wanna come close so you could see um, the neckline or the neck is ribbed throughout. And yeah, I guess you could fold it down another layer if you wanted to. I really, like I said, love the color combination. You could wear black booties, you could wear gray booties, you could wear tan booties, or if you had a pair of white booties, that would really look nice with this top. And you can wear them with leggings and then, yeah, complete outfit, right? But this one, I'm not going to keep. I'm going to send back. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell, but it does have a rounded hemline. It comes up a little bit on both sides. When I try on the jeans, I'll keep the sweater on so you can get a look at the shape of the hemline. Let me show you the back of it. So you get some good coverage back here. Okay, let me throw on the jeans and I'll be right back. Okay, before I pull the sweater up so you can get a better look at the jeans, I wanted you to see the hemline of the sweater. Can you see that? You can get a better look at it, yeah. I know these are dark wash jeans too, so it's making it a little bit difficult still, but you can see it kind of comes up here. There you go, I think you can see that. Um, so yeah, there you go, length and hemline. All right, let's talk about the jeans. The jeans are by Molly and Isadora. These are the Leroy Skinny Jean in dark wash in a size 16, and they are $69. The fabric is 56% cotton, 29% polyester, 12% rayon, and 3% spandex. Made in China, and you can machine wash these in cold water. So I love the wash of these. I think the wash is super nice. I love a good, clean pair of dark wash jeans. They are a skinny jean, so I have a ton of skinny jeans. You guys know that. I do think I'm going to send these back, although I do really like the way that they fit. Um, they do have your classic five pocket style. So yeah, length is pretty good. They are a tad bit long, but once I throw on a pair of booties, I'd be fine with these. You know, I'm thinking, do I need to replace a pair of dark wash jeans in my closet? Because these are a nice pair. I really do like the way they fit and feel. Let me show you the back. So what do you think? You know me and jeans. <laughs> it's so hard for me to send jeans back, but these these are nice. I just don't know that I need them. I think I'll hold off, you know, until that long-awaited closet cleanup that I keep talking about. Not closet, just denim. That's all I need to do is clean out my denim. That's all I need to do. <laughs> but yep, it'll be here. It'll come soon. We'll we'll make time for that. But anyway, these might go back. All right, I've got a dress. Let's let's put on the dress. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the dress. Now the dress is by Adorned. This is the Alexis Long Sleeve Shift Dress in black in a size 16. It is $69. The fabric is, so the shell 
96% polyester and 4% spandex. The contrast is 100% polyester. You can machine wash this in cold water and it was made in Sri Lanka. So what do you think? I'm on the fence. I'm kind of digging this dress. It doesn't really have any shape. It's just cut, it has like a very straight cut. It's a shift dress but I like the way that it looks. I really do. I think it's flattering. What do you think about it? I think I might get a lot of use out of this, you know, if I kept it too. Oh, careful. Lexi wants to be a part of the try-on, I think. So I think she wants to just have a say in the clothing, right? <laughs> I don't know if she's giving her approval or saying, no, that's a no, but you know, what do you think? I like it. I really do. I think with like a nice either tassel necklace or a statement necklace, this would look nice. The sleeves are sheer. Can you see that? But they're not super, super sheer. I'm not sure. You know, let me see if I can put my, here we go. You can kind of see my nail polish through just to kind of give you an idea. And then it's got a band here. So it's not sheer at the wrist area, just the rest of the dress. It's got a rounded neckline, which, you know, it's not too close to my neck, but it doesn't come down too far either. So I kind of like it, you know, it's something different. Although I did just tape a stitch fix. I got a dress in there. And in that video, I said, I haven't been reaching for dresses a lot. I think I just tend to reach for them more in the spring and summer. Now, what do you think? I know this is not more of like a spring and summer dress because it's black and it's not like a bright color, but you could accessorize with bright pops of color and it would be a good evening dress. You know, I'm kind of liking this dress. Let me show you the back of it. Now, the back has a zipper. I didn't have to unzip it to get it on, but it has that zipper. It goes to about like my, I don't know, it's not too, too long. I'm trying to feel where it goes down to. Oh, I guess, no, that's just the seam. I'll have to see when I when I take the dress off how far the zipper goes. So let me turn around and show you. So yeah, I kind of like this one. Hmm, this one may be a keeper. What do you think about it? Let me know, I'm gonna watch back. Sometimes when I watch back, I'm like, what were you thinking, Kayla? That dress looks terrible on you. So I may have a different opinion. You may see a comment scrolling if it doesn't look too flattering. All right, I have a sixth item in this box. So let me grab it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a bag. Now the bag is by Street Level. This is the Astrid Woven Crossbody Handbag in black. It is $49. And so it's not too bad of a price. It's not a Kayla bag though. I love larger handbags. I carry big bags. I wear, you know, crossbody bags. I have two of them, maybe three. I wear them when I'm going shopping, like on an all day shopping trip and I don't wanna lug around, you know, my big tote. Um, I'll use those, but this one's really cute. I do love the woven detail. I have a couple of street level totes that I got, I think in a trunk club or from Nordstrom's, same thing, right? Then I'm going to see if they have the larger tote with this woven detail. If so, I'm gonna pick one up because I really do like this style, but I love a larger bag. Um, I do get where she was going with this though, with, you know, an evening night out can wear this tote or wear this cross, this tote, this crossbody. Um, well, I didn't put it on crossbody. I just kind of put it over my shoulder like this, but let's see how it looks as a crossbody style. So there you go. Not with the dress, but you know what I do like about this one is that it's adjustable. So you can adjust the, you know, how far down it comes. So if you're taller, you can kind of make it a little bit, the strap a little bit longer, which is really, really nice. So let's see. So see, that brings it down a little bit farther. So yeah, it's a nice bag. So if you like crossbody bags, this one's really, really cute. And does this come off? Do these come off to make it like a clutch? I don't know that they come off. I don't think so. I'm trying to look at the hardware to see if this comes off. I don't think this does. I don't want to take the tag off either <laughs> accidentally. So yeah, let's see. Let's take a look at the inside. Oh, it's already unzipped. So it's got a gold zipper to match the gold hardware. I don't think there's any organization in this bag. Oh, there is. There's a little, right here, there's a little pouch. You could put maybe your cell phone in there. I don't think there's any other organization in this bag, though. No, there's not. It's just kind of an open. I do like the shape of it. It's a pretty good size. You can probably fit your wallet, your phone, your keys. Um, so, if, like I said, if you're going on, like, an all-day shopping trip or just... If you like to wear crossbodies and, you know, smaller bags or use smaller bags on an everyday basis, this is really cute. I do like it. There's the side view. It doesn't have any feet, but you wouldn't really need feet for a crossbody bag, you know? Um, so it's nice, but I am going to send this one back, but I'm going to be on the lookout for a tote in this pattern. 
All right, I think that's it. So let's do a quick recap. Okay, decent backs for not having a note or any requests for me. They did a pretty good job, right? So, you know, I'm a little confused though because when the last time I got a Dia & Co, I tried to check out and I couldn't get the 25% unless I kept all six pieces. Now they're saying in this box that you don't have to keep all six to get the 25% discount. You only need to buy five. So I'm just gonna send them a message just to make sure because like I said, last time I tried to keep five, and I didn't get the discount, so I didn't keep five pieces. It really impacted my decision. So I'm gonna let them know and see what the deal is with that. Now, okay, the total of this box is $317. The styling fee gets credited, that takes off $20, and then the 25% discount. See on here, it says, I gotta, is my address on here? I don't think so, but let me just see. I'm gonna fold it. 20, oh. <laughs> shouldn't be this difficult. See the full box discount, can you see that? And it says for six items. So I'm, I'm going to reach out to them just to see. It can't, you know, just clarify, right? Um, takes off $79.25, bringing the total to $217.75. For six pieces, that's not too bad. I'm not going to keep it all. I don't think I'm going to keep the jeans. I don't really need them. The bag I'm not going to keep because I just don't think I'd reach for it enough. I'd get more use out of a bigger bag. Um, let's see. The turtleneck I don't care for. I'm not going to keep that. I think I might keep this dress. <laughs> you know, I still have it on. I like it. It feels really nice on. So I think this might be a keeper. And I love the leggings. They were comfortable. So those are going to be a keeper. I'm still not sure about that first top. So I can't wait to hear your thoughts and your feedback. I'm going to try to get this posted before I have to make my decisions and check out. So let me know what you think below. Thanks so much for watching and sp for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you all really soon for some more fashion.